So, of course, allow me to express our appreciation for inviting the Institute for Labor Studies of the Department of Labor and Employment as one of today's discussions for the study on inputs to the Philippine labor market information system and test the skills anticipation and prioritization of skills requirements framework. So we commend the authors of the study for their valuable contributions. And we note that the conduct of this research was specifically designed to address the policy and implementation needs of TESDA regarding skills anticipation and prioritization. At the Institute, we deeply value these collective um, collaborative arrangements with implementation partners as they bridge the gap between research and practice. Such partnerships not only enhance the relevance of our research findings, but also ensure that they are actionable and aligned with the real-world challenges faced by stakeholders. At the outset, next uh, slide, please. At the outs, next slide, please. At the outset, the findings of this study affirm several priorities outlined in the Philippine Labor and Employment Plan 2023 to 2028, which emphasizes the importance of shared labor market governance and the establishment of an effective and efficient labor market information system. The author's insights into the skills anticipation and prioritization of skills requirement of SAR framework and the broader LMIS, particularly concerning institutional arrangements and collaboration, data utilization, and dissemination strategies are timely as the government led by NEDA, DOLE, and DTI, who works on the 10-year tra Trabajo para Sabayan Master Plan. So this employment recovery initiative aims to tackle longstanding labor market challenges, including job quality, the per perennial problem of skills uh, mismatches, and underemployment issues that have historically affected our workforce and impeded economic growth. Dole also maintains dynamic and responsive labor market information systems and services towards efficient information flow, better skills anticipation, and competency forecast. The department's Bureau of Local Employment, in particular, maintains three major labor market information systems, and these are the Integrated Field Job Net, the PESO Employment Information System, the Career Information System, and the Job Displacement System. Next slide, please. Field Job Net is an internet-based uh, job and applicant matching system which aims to fast track the job seeker search for jobs and the employer search for manpower. It is a facility of the DOL which with centralized database maintained by the Bureau of Local Employment. As part of the digitalization efforts and in order to enhance department's LMI ecosystem, we have integrated the processes and databases of Field Job Net and PEIS for a more efficient system of managing and reporting jobs and skills availability in the labor market. The integration of the systems allow for more efficient and effective delivery and monitoring of employment facilitation services. We also lodge on under the Field Job Net website, our career information system, the CIS, houses digitized version of our career guides, which provide valuable information such as nature of work, basic educational requirements, skills and competencies, attributes, employment opportunities, and cost of uh, education and training. Next slide, please. The Bureau also maintains the Job Displacement Monitoring System, a nationwide database of displaced workers based on establishment reports submitted to Dole Regional Offices. Next slide, please. For further guidance on career planning and decision-making, DOLE, again through the Bureau of Local Employment, releases labor market information publications to update the public with reliable and relevant information on the realities of the labor market situation. These resources can help an individual make informed plans and choices related to career planning and preparation, education and training, and jobs search. Next slide, please. 
using the themes provided in the inside portion of the author's uh, study, allow me to provide these reflection points for the author's consideration. On institutional arrangement and collaboration, to ensure that, that the SAP-SAR framework and LMIS effectively capture industry demand and the skills needs of workers, it is essential to establish meaningful ongoing collaborations among governments, employers, and workers. Such collaboration must go beyond mere consultation. It requires that the inputs and perspectives of all stakeholders are actively integrated in the LMIS. Identifying potential entry points for this collaboration is crucial. Second, one viable approach is through the industry tripartite councils, or ITCs, which can be monitored and, co and monit coordinated by the Bureau of Labor Relations, again in collaboration with the Bureau of Local Employment of DOLE. These councils provide a structured platform for dialogue, ensuring that the voices of employers and workers are heard and that their insights directly inform labor market policies and initiatives. Another low-hanging fruit are TESDA's uh, industry boards, which serve several important functions aimed at improving alignment of technical education and skills development with industry needs. Industry boards provide expert advice to TESDA on the skills and competencies required by specific sectors, ensuring that the training programs remain relevant to current and future industry demands. They assist in developing and updating training regulations to reflect industry standards and technological advancements, helping to ensure that graduates are job ready. They foster collaboration between TESDA and industry stakeholders, facilitating partnerships that can enhance training opportunities, such as internships and on-the-job training. Industry boards also help assess the effectiveness of existing training programs and provide feedback on how these programs can be improved. Industry boards may also make policy recommendations to test the board and other government agencies regarding workforce development and skills training initiatives. And then lastly, in addition, drawing lessons from the Australian government's jobs and skills councils model, we can also partner with the Alliance for Future Work through the Philippine Business for Education that advocates for the establishment of sector skills councils. These councils, composed of industry experts, would offer data-driven insights and research on labor market needs, allowing for a more responsive and tailored approach to skills development. Next slide, please. So in partnership with industry associations, AFW, or the Alliance for Future of Work, is actively supporting the formation of uh, uh, SSCs in several key sectors. Um, on analytics and artificial intelligence, collaborating with um, AAP to address emerging trends and skills gaps in this rapidly evolving field. On fruits and vegetable processing, partnering with the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industries Human Resources Development Foundation to enhance workforce capabilities in this vital agricultural sector. On semiconductor and electronics, working with the semiconductor Conductor Electronic Industries in the Philippines Foundation or SAFI to ensure that the skills development initiatives align with the sector's specific needs and technological advancement. And lastly, on healthcare, collaborating with the Unilab Foundation to address the growing demand for skilled professionals in the healthcare sector, particularly in light of recent global health challenges. By fostering these collaborations, we can create a robust framework that not only meets the current labor market demands, but also ante anticipates future needs, enhancing the resilience and competitiveness of the Philippine workforce in the long run. Next slide, please. Drawing inspiration from the good practices observed in the countries cited in the study, one immediate recommendation we can look into is the establish is to establish partnerships between the government and digital labor market intermediaries such as JobStreet, Caliber, or LinkedIn. These partnerships can support the data-intensive 
and real-time information needs of the LMIS in the following ways. On data sharing agreements, initiate agreements with DLMIs to access comprehensive data on job postings, hiring trends, and skill requirements. This will help DOLE analyze real-time labor market dynamics. On collaborative research in initiatives, work with the LMIs to conduct joint research on labor market needs and skills mismatches. This can provide valuable insights for shaping training programs and policies. On enhanced job matching, leverage the capabilities of the LMIs to improve job matching processes, ensuring that job seekers are connected with relevant opportunities based on their skills and qualifications. On skills mapping, use data from DLMIs to create a skills map that identifies current skills in demand and those that are emerging, helping to inform training programs and curriculum development. On public awareness campaigns, collaborate with DLMIs to run awareness campaigns that educate job seekers on available training programs and employment opportunities, fostering a more informed workforce. And, and feedback mechanism, establish feedback loops where employers can provide input on the effectiveness of training programs based on their hiring experiences, further, further refining the LMIS. Aside from the LMIs, it was also suggested to inst institutionalize the conduct of the graduate tracer study for higher education and vocational courses practiced in other countries. We affirm that this action can provide benchmark for institutional performance check the employment outcomes of students, and improve curriculum responsiveness to labor market demand that is useful to LMRS. Next slide, please. Moreover, the, institution, the Institute recognized the importance of partnerships and collaborations with government bodies such as the National Innovation Council, the Philippine Skills Framework Council, the Philippine Qualification National Coordinating Council and the Working Group on the Digital Workforce Competitiveness to address job skills mismatch and unlock the potential of the Filipino workforce. This interagency mechan mechanism harmonize and coordinate various government efforts to promote lifelong learning and skills development. On support, insights on, su on support. Next slide, please. On the provision of continuous support to sustain the LMIS and are, the authors may want to explore the inclusion of the program convergence budgeting for livelihood and employment program. The PC, PCB is an interagency approach that focus and coordinate government resources towards the achievement of livelihood and the achievement of livelihood and employment priority programs like the LMIS and SAPSAR framework. To also complement the government funding, these initiatives may be enrolled among the pipeline funding of the Philippine UN Sustain Sustainable Development Cooperation Fro Fro Framework under Outcome 2, which focuses on decent work, among others. The UNSDCF is a unique and innovative collaboration between the Philippine government and the UN Philippine Country Office. On the provision of support for capacity building, Next slide, please. It is recommended to include continuous strengthening of capacities and skills of PESO to respond with the localized data requirement of SAPSAR and LMIS. PESOs are vital local institutions in the utilization and generation of ground and area-based location and skills information. So to close, uh, the Department of Labor and Employment is committed to a vision that will continue to provide the support, incentives, and enabling environment needed for industries to thrive. We will ensure that the benefits of this growth are shared equitably with the hardworking women and men who power our economy each day. Thank you. And uh, good afternoon.